am Tapsi Pannu and today I am here to share my period hack with all of you. No, I, uh, nobody told me to not to do this. I, my house, it was never like a taboo that you can't do this or can't do that. It was just a hush-hush topic in spite of the fact that four of us, three are women uh, in the house. It's still a weird hush topic which I find really funny now but, but, but back then that's how it was so I didn't even question it in the beginning. When I grew up and I started talking to people and reading about it and all the weirdest thing I've heard uh, not directly but heard of is the fact that in, on periods you're not supposed to touch the jar. So for the longest time I had PCOD. Uh, during my college school days, uh, which became better with uh, you know with 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 age and with uh, some yoga exercises and all I did to cure them, uh, it was impossible to cure it with uh, uh, medication because the medication for it is to take steroid tablets to balance your hormones out, um, which is not really I don't find it a healthy solution. It is not a solution actually. So, but then because of which I had really really crazy cramps which I still sometimes have but I, I think the ha- only hack to it which I discovered after I got rid of my PCOD problem was uh, A you know you really need to make your core muscles strong to first take that uh, pain because obviously if it's weaker then it's difficult for your muscles to ta- endure that kind of pain the other thing is uh, you know which is a very age old hack of a warm bottle to, to make sure that you know you're easing that pain out by using that warm bottle on your lower abdomen area that is something that I uh, still follow uh, the days I find it like it's painful I use that hack Uh, what what really I discovered was that it was all getting driven through the thyroid gland uh, inactivity or less activity of the thyroid gland which is the master gland which uh, it triggers all the other glands so uh, so I actually started doing Ujjayani Pranayam to cure that to make sure my thyroid wo- works properly because of which my uh, other glands started getting triggered in the right way and hence that problem slowly went away coupled with my uh, lifestyle habits because what you eat and your workout also adds to it so I kind of did all of this together to get rid of it no no it's a sanitary napkin I I use till date I'm uh, and it's an organic it's a biodegradable product that I use uh, so yeah so that's what I even recommend to everyone around me No, actually, I've never had this emotional eating uh, issue with my periods. I was lucky enough with that. But yes, I've had cramps issues, which my nutritionist Munmun kind of gave me these hacks for, which fell in my uh, diet zone. So she, she had certain hacks that she gave me during my training period, which because as I told you, I did not skip training at all and I couldn't. Did, had, I had very limited time, so I did not want to also and the center is unbearable which thankfully didn't happen because Moon Moon kind of took care of it with certain um, calcium supplement to take or certain kind of special laddus that she asked me to get made at home which are like this homemade laddus with certain very natural ingredients that she asked me to eat uh, you know the days I feel that I'm getting more cramps so which really helped me to keep my training going because it's not a crime nor it's a uh, kind of an std that you are talking about it's a it's something as natural as any other uh, thing that body goes through uh, it's a very natural process it's not something that you can choose to have or not to have uh, so i think i've realized that it is as natural as any other activity that you do with your body or any activity that a body triggers so if you can talk about the fact that we, can, we, we have an uh, uh, excretion system, we can also talk about uh, the fact, the things that come with the reproduction system. <laughs>